Uh, you want to do scabies then? Yeah. Check, 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 check. Avenue without getting hit. And wow, tonight we at present company. We're gonna take a uh, stroll through an exhibition by Robin Winters titled "Freestanding Sentence." Well, Robin wrote this poem, and I'm not going to have time to read it all, but we'll just sort of scan down. You can uh, pause it if you see something interesting. And there's the artist right there. Those glasses are great. I'm going to try to catch you maybe later. Let's take a little look through uh, the show anyway. Uh, well, I popped in here as usual, and... Uh, Sometimes I th see things that are interesting and uh, compel me to want to do video and sometimes I don't. This particular show caught my attention. Well, for one thing, Robin is uh, kind of a presence in the downtown scene for the last, oh geez, I don't want to embarrass him, 40 years, something like that. And uh, I didn't know what to expect. I saw the, uh, the ads for the show, but... Uh, it's kind of surprising, so what we've got here is a shelf with uh, these little paintings, drawings, sketches, watercolors, and they're all interspersed with little lines of text, and he's calling this like a run-on sentence, and uh, using the, the artworks, the drawings, the paintings as the punctuation, the periods, the semicolons. But uh, actually, the thing that I like is that uh, I think this is all really one long you know, flow of consciousness poem. I'm going to try to maybe talk a little bit to Robin and see, get some of his ideas about his poetic interest. The other side is that uh, Robin is a California boy. Uh, it says he was from the Bay Area and grew up during the radical days of Haight-Ashbury and all that stuff and then came to New York in 1972 and uh, was involved in a lot of the stuff that was happening downtown. Well, I'll just give you a quick explanation. Some of these little uh, pieces of text are held up with these little clips that are stuck into Play-Doh. And uh, I think the paintings are actually kind of interesting. I think I, the first time I bumped into Robin's work was at Mary Boone, maybe in 1979-1980. And uh, at that point he was showing big expressionistic paintings. Anyway, uh, he's done a lot of different things. He was involved with Colab and uh, helped orchestrate some exhibitions like the Real Estate Show and the Times Square Show. Those two shows in a lot of ways kind of set the stage for the uh, 1980s New York art scene and uh, in a lot of ways kind of uh, were a precursor of the whole East Village scene. Well, 
like this little painting. It's on. Looks like it's on a piece of board. Got some collages in there. Uh, the other thing is that uh, Robin is actually a fairly fairly accomplished painter and uh, but he's moved on and he's done things like glass blowing so I believe if you look at some of these small sculptural pieces he's got uh, glass elements that he's added and uh, he might not want to admit it but I think that uh, poetry is probably a big part of his practice And I'm not sure what these little, he's got some casts of uh, things. I was wondering whether that's wax, it kind of looks waxy. And I need to find out what he's painting with. Is that oil or acrylic or some kind of strange mixture of enamel and vinyl resin? I don't know. As you grow older, the years speed up. One more time, the Houdini trick. <laughs> so I guess there's also a series of these that look like white embossed prints or maybe cast paper of some kind. So there is a kind of a, maybe a selection of various types of work like these cast pieces. They look like it's made molds of some kind of little tchotchkes and then cast them in wax. And if you want to pause so you can read the texts, I invite you to take the time. I don't have to do it now because I'm trying to run through the show. And some of these pieces on paper, the larger pieces look like he's folded them in various ways, maybe collage things on. And, uh, We've got a couple of dogs here with the uh, little glass hats. I think the other thing that I would mention about uh, Robin is that. Uh, He's always been politically engaged. A lot of the actions or the the exhibitions that uh, Colab were involved with were really uh, kind of politically bent. The real estate show was basically they went in on Delancey Street, broke into a vacant it was a store, set up an exhibition, and within about 24 hours. X marks the spot. That's a nice drawing with some ballpoint pen and watercolor. In 24 hours, the cops showed up and basically locked up the show. And then they started a protest. And uh, I think this is 1979, about the year I showed up. Joseph Boys was in town, and Joseph Boys even came by and sort of cheered on the, the group. He's got a whole series of these uh, funky little paintings, but I think the thing that's interesting is this kind of this ironically, grotesquely proportioned frame. Out sailing. You are a shadow of extreme volume. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, irony, uh, word games, things going on. And uh, yeah, I was looking at this piece and just thinking this is some very nice uh, kind of pedimedia that he's layered on there. And like I was saying, the, the frames are almost like boxes that these little paintings are held in. Masterpiece Beach. Well, so that was a run around the shelf of the freestanding sentence. 
up against the wall. Nerf me. That, that's kind of what people say about the firing squad, right? See you guys. Well, we caught up with uh, Robin Winters. I've got a couple of questions for you. One of them is just um, technically, do you consider this like one long poem, or you sort of said it was just a run-on sentence? Yes. It's no, it's really one. I mean, there's some fragmented parts, but it's really one piece, one poem. One, one long poem. Yeah. Little broken things here and there yeah. stuffed in. Now, did you spend a lot of time laying this out, or did you sort of put it together just spontaneously when you came in and installed it, or was this all planned out? A little of both. I, I did a rehearsal upstate, and I measured out kind of the space and the things that were going to be in this space. Then I brought down twice as many things as I needed and did a lot of editing once I was here. So you got a lot of stuff in the van or something? I do, yeah. <laughs> Several boxes in the basement full of other things that I took out of the presentation. Okay, just as a painter, I was wondering about what kind of paint are you using there? Is that enamel, acrylic? What, what are you painting the paintings with? What's on these little box paintings? Yeah, the little box paintings. They're all on things that I've consumed. Okay. They're cardboard boxes that I just ah, ah. of like cornflakes or rice aroni, whatever, you know, various like... Rice aroni, the San Francisco yeah, tree. Exactly. Food items. Okay. And then I gessoed over the food items, and then it's mostly acrylic and powdered pigment. Okay, so you're kind of mixing your own I mix special own recipe. Paint. Yeah. How about? And then these are all watercolor. How about these cast pieces? I noticed there's a whole series of these. Is that wax or something, or what? What is the cast? The, the bottom part is wax. The, this top first one was made by the great Fredini out at Coney Island. Oh, the great Fredini. Who has the scanorama. Sure. So he scanned a rama at me. So that's you. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up pretty fast. Yeah. Well, I guess that's about it. Uh, and all the drawings are brand new. Okay. All the text is brand new. These little watercolors are brand new. And how about the, the boxes that just, the, the things you sit on, that's also part of your... They, the never no, no, the red, like this red box here underneath the, the poem. Yeah, they're, they're that's similar also, to these kind of boxes. You just I didn't make paintings them. in there. Exactly. Okay, all right. Looks yeah. good. Did you get the whole walk around? I got the whole walk around. Oh, nice. I uh, yammered into the camera and oh, did the whole fantastic. thing. fantastic. Anyway, congratulations, Robin Winters. And I was just... So you were part of Colab, yes. Causing trouble back yep. in the good old days. Yep. You still out there causing trouble these days? I'm I mean, trying. aside aside from this. <laughs> yeah, hands up, don't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Robin Winters. Thank you. Okay, so that was. Uh, Thank you, Kate. <laughs> thanks, Kate. That was Robin Winters' freestanding sentence here at Present Company, 254 Johnson Avenue in Bushwick and as Robin just said thank you Kate